Hello and welcome back to RC Icons. I know what you're thinking. We just watched a running video of you with the yellow javelin. <laughs> What's going on now? Well, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't decide. That's my problem. So I will say that after getting the yellow decals on, I think in the buggy, the driver figure in there, I think the buggy looks great as it is. But I do have the OT30 tires to put on. So my dilemma was whether or not to go with the silver wheels and leave the silver alloy and not do the carbon or to upgrade this. And in the last video I was talking about even if I did the carbon upgrades, there's still a bunch of silver alloy on here. Um, not that that's a problem. Um, so yeah, I just can't figure out what I want to do with this car. I'll be honest. Since I've finished the car, it's grown on me a ton. And I think it looks absolutely awesome. But I'm I'm really trying to take this to, to another level. Um, it does look great. Don't get me wrong. And what I'm about to do may just be a total waste of time and money and a total flop. But... This is my idea. So I'm thinking if I take this car and I take my black wheel set and I put the OT30 tires on, that will black out the, the bottom part of the car. And then if I do the carbon chassis set from extra speed, and I'm going to bring the camera over and show you all these parts here in a minute, that will also help take this car to another level because you'll have all that beautiful carbon fiber on there but then I was like well what if what if we just embraced this bumblebee theme and blacked out the rest of the car what do I mean by that well if I do the carbon fiber kit it takes the two front supports both front and rear shock towers the this side of the motor support not the motor support they don't do the motor support itself in black alloy i mean uh in carbon fiber but they do this side of it is in carbon fiber so that would black out quite a bit but then i would still be left with the rear motor guard the motor mount itself the chassis rails would be alloy the roof would be alloy this brace would be alloy and the roof canopy that you can kind of see through the holes in the yellow would still show alloy. So, and then the bottom, the uh, the chassis the chassis brace underguard would be alloy. So I had this bright idea, and we'll see how bright it is. If I bought another set of all that alloy, <laughs> and I painted it satin black, then it would black out the whole car with black alloy, carbon fiber, black wheels and black tires with the yellow cage and the black decals now I would have essentially a true bumblebee style car so that's what we're gonna do in this video I'm gonna take a brand new set of alloy for the javelin all the parts that aren't getting changed to carbon fiber that would still be alloy and we're gonna etch prime them all and then we're going to paint them all satin black. And then we're going to break this car essentially completely apart and put it back together with all of the satin black alloy and carbon fiber and see what it looks like. And if I don't like it, I'm going to take it back apart and put all of this alloy back on. But I honestly think it's going to look epic. I think it's going to come out looking like a like a stealthy yellow bumblebee-ish javelin. And I may even lower the car. It it if you push down on the shocks, it's not recoiling. I don't think I put the oil in 
when I built it because I think I wanted to see if it needed needed a better stance because it's not rebounding like it should and I, I honestly can't remember because I built this thing in my camper I don't remember if I put the oil in or not um, so we may lower the car a little bit because it's a mile in the air and I think it would look better if it was like down here so yeah we, it's funny because I push it down there and it stays down there it slowly comes back up but not very not very quick so yeah that's the intention for this I've already bought the parts I've committed to the project so I might as well film it and see what you guys think um, it may be a fail who knows but I, I think uh, I think it might work so all of this I'll be honest so I don't want to be a creator that just copies other people and I talk to this about with Glenn all the time. He's like, dude, just do what you do. He goes, even if it's the same as something that I may have done, like whatever. He's like, just film what you want to film. And I'm like, I get it, but I don't mind. I don't want to copy all of your cars. And he painted his orange cage white, and that car looks awesome. I love the white. It looks absolutely insane. And then he ran it with the green one that I sent him, and that one looked great as well. And I have a green set. Um, but Ari also did green. So I'm, I'm really want to try to keep this yellow for two reasons. A, to give you guys something different, not just another green, um, javelin that, you know, everybody else has already done. I want to try to make this thing as good as theirs, but in the yellow. Um, so that's the intention. So let's bring the camera over. We'll take a look at what I've got here. And we'll get started on the project. All right. So now that I get you in position, let's give you a close look at the car the way it is. So you can see all the silver on the car. And it looks great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it does, it does look awesome. But... I just think that we could make it look better. Maybe it'll look better, maybe it won't. I guarantee you half of you in the comments are going to say, keep the silver, and then the other half are going to be like, I love the black. <laughs> and I'm still going to be kind of at a crossroads. But this is how I need, I need this for me, for the shelf, I need it to look the best I can get it for me. So this, this is the carbon set from uh, Extra Speed. So that's your carbon radio plate. And then it comes with rear tower. Uh, this is the piece that's opposite the battery, I mean the uh, motor mount. So two braces, the two front connector plates, and then the front shock tower. So all that would go to carbon. And then all of this that's your roll bar or whatever you call it that mounts to the battery plate. And you've got your roof cover and then your center brace. We would be using just the motor mount out of this section because the other part's carbon. So the motor mount, chassis rails, motor guard, and... Uh, front under guard would all get etched primed and then painted either satin black or flat black so that's the method behind my madness there and then we would do the black wheels right with the OT30 reproduction mile one tires either way the tires are going on but if i was to put the tires on with the silver i would probably do the tire writing in silver um just to accent it a little bit more so bring on the bumblebee um so yeah i am going to get all this stuff out of its wrappers and then before I even break the car apart, I'm going to uh, scuff this with uh, Scotch-Brite 
all the aluminum very lightly and then I'm going to etch prime it all and then I'll bring it back to show you it in primer and then I'm probably going to scotch bright it again just very lightly wipe it down with some acetone and then I'm going to hit it it's most likely going to be the satin black because I don't mind there being a little bit of shine because the plastics are shiny and then obviously the carbon is shiny so it'll probably be the satin black. I definitely didn't want to go gloss black. I wanted it to be a duller finish, more like what the tires are. So that's what we're going to do. So, and then I need to strip the radio gear out of this car. Um, now that I'm done with the running video, I need to strip the radio gear out of this car while we're putting it back together or disassembling it. So let me get the stuff prepped and etch primed and I'll bring you back to take a look at it in a second. All right, so I've got all the parts etch primed. And you can see it's a nice flat coat. So I scotch brighted it first and the etch primer, if you've never used it, it does exactly what it says. It, it bites into the aluminum it actually etches into it to hold on so the parts the finish is absolutely awesome you know and it's not it's not going to scratch off um you can see my fingernail mark on there so what i'll do now is i'll hit it with a scotch bright again and then i'm going to wipe it down with some acetone just to clean it and then we're gonna hit it with the satin black and this is a paint and primer in one I also have this flat black one's a rust-oleum one's a Krylon so the flat black says it's got this is a paint and primer in one as well and it says it's got five times stronger adhesion um, I just think the satin black will look just a little bit better with that just that little bit of shine to it Oop. so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna get these scuffed real quick and uh, cleaned and shot black and then I'll bring you back when I have the parts ready to go and we'll start tearing this car apart which is gonna leave a ton of dirt because this thing is post run and it's still got dirt all over it um, but that's okay it'll give me an opportunity to clean the car um, while we're rebuilding it so let me get this in black and I'll bring you back all right as you can see I started disassembling the car I've got the cage off it's full of dirt it's like one one run is all it takes you can see all the dirt I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's full of dirt. So taking it apart will be good because I can get it completely cleaned up. But one of the things I wanted to show you, so as we look at the car as it is, the black radio plates going carbon fiber. This brace is going carbon fiber. The front shock tower is going carbon fiber. The rear shock tower is going carbon fiber. This side of the motor plate is going carbon fiber. The front brace on both sides, this one here and this one here, is going carbon fiber. And then all the rest of the aluminum, except for the front steering knuckles, is going satin black. Look at that finish, huh? So just enough of a shine to kind of make it pop but I've got everything done and ready to go so I am going to continue to disassemble this car so between the the alloy parts and then all of the carbon parts the car has to be essentially almost completely disassembled and I'm going to clean as I go so I'm pro I'm not I'm probably not going to show you segments of this piece that piece as I'm putting the car back together I think I'm just going to disassemble it and reassemble it and bring it bring it back to you guys done 
back to this point. Sorry for me sniffling. Um, and at some point I'll change the, plus, the, the metal parts on the cage. But I'll bring you back to with everything changed, the chassis to this point, and then we can actually finish the car with the wheels and tires. Now obviously, if we're going black and yellow and we're blacking everything out, I'm, I'm probably not going to do tire writing, although I do have yellow. Um, I just don't know how it's going to look because this cage, believe it or not, is more of like a fluorescent yellow, not a dull yellow. And I know if I do tire writing, it's not going to be fluorescent on a black wheel. So we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, I did take all the radio gear out of it, obviously. Still haven't figured out why that servo ended up being set up opposite, but whatever. Just make sure when we put radio gear back in the car um, that that doesn't happen again. So yeah, I'm going to keep disassembling here and I'll bring you back. Like I said, when the car is back to this point. So I know I told you I would bring you back with a finished car or chassis, but I wanted to show you how far I had to take it down. So that's the car. <laughs> and you can see chunks of parts all over the place. Now part of that is just because I'm trying to clean the car from, that, from my run at the same time. Um, and obviously it's easier to clean it if you disassemble it. So I literally took it all the way back to step six in the manual, right? And I actually had an issue. So when I went to take the radio plate off, this is the upper chain channel. There's two 2.6 millimeter screws that thread down into that, and one of them, the heads, the head strip, the 1.5 millimeter head strip. So I literally had to drill it. It's one of these two screws right here. I had to drill the head out to get the radio plate off, and then I didn't feel like fighting this to get the rest of it out. You can see there's still a piece of screw in there. I didn't feel like fighting it to get the rest of it off, so I opened up. One good thing about having a bunch of kits laying around is I have an Optima re-re kit. So I just opened that up and grabbed the upper chain guard or chain runner from the Optima re-re kit. And then in the spare parts bag, it had an extra 2.6 self-tapping screw. So now I'll just order, I'll order that tree for my Optima kit. When it comes in, I'll throw it in that box and thank you very much. Um, that will be done. So... Not not the end of the world, but we're going to start with my new black motor plate. Right? And we're going to just start building this back up. Yeah. So there's my, chain, my motor guard, my motor plate, and my square bracket. So I'm just going to start building the car back up, and uh, now I will bring you back when, uh, when I have a finished chassis. Well, as you can see, we've got a car again. You've got your carbon fiber, rear shock towers carbon fiber, motor plates in black, all the black parts are on. Completely blacked out. You got your carbon fiber sides here and here. You got your brace. You got your the brace in the front. You can't even see it. Um, you got your side here, and then of course the motor plate was painted black. So we're total carbon fiber and black at this point. Other than the front hubs, like I said. You can order black alloy hubs on eBay. Everybody sells them. And put the black roof on. So I got to get my yellow decals on still. And then uh, I don't think I ever put oil in these shocks when I built them. Because I, yeah, there's definitely not oil in there. 
because I didn't know if I was going to lower it and I actually am going to lower it. And that's why the car was, was staying low under its own weight. So I'm going to put probably, I don't know, probably at least 10 mil of, uh, of spacers in these right now and get the oil in them. But that's going to look great with the black and red. Um, we still have the red on the wing too, so that'll pull that shot color together. So yeah, let me finish up the car. I'll bring you back with it completely done. My pile of silver parts is over here. And then of course, OT30s, baby. See you in a second. All right, so we have a finished car. I give to you the Kyosho Yellow Jacket. Carbon fiber radio plate. Carbon fiber shock towers, although you can't really see them. Completely blacked out. I think it came out awesome. I think that's the baddest looking yellow. Bad in a good way, obviously. I think that's the baddest yellow cage javelin I've ever seen. Thing looks epic. So, a couple of things that I would change. these The off-road racer, I would have MCI do those. So those came off a turbo rocky sheet from MCI, and I would have those done in fluorescent yellow. Because those are a little bit too orangey. I mean, at least this one, that's a Kyosho decal and at least the yellow is close and then the other thing i would do is if i was gonna if i was gonna put the driver figure in i would i would paint the uh the body and head yellow so that might be something i do at some point is get a new driver figure in yellow and and do it in yellow and uh and put it in so I haven't put it in there for that reason, just because I know it's going to drive me crazy. And then I did lower the car. I put the oil in. It still sits a mile in the air. Um, not a mile, but it's still plenty high. And then, of course, the sand supers are on with the black wheels. So you'll have to tell me in the comments what you think. Did you like the silver with silver wheels better? Or do you like the black and carbon fiber look? I mean, I obviously like the black and carbon fiber look, but I'm going to be a biased, biased opinion. Let me get the camera moved over for a closing. I'm going to clean my desk up here a little bit too. It's an absolute mess. But I'll see you in a second. So that's going to do it for my uh, Riri Kyosho Javelin, a.k.a. the Yellow Jacket. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this car was cool. Um, it was fun to build while I was on vacation, and uh, today I got to rebuild basically the entire thing. Um, the silver looked good, uh, don't get me wrong. I had a lot of good comments on the first video that this that they liked the silver. Uh, a lot of people were like, "You should put black wheels on it. You should put a black wing on it." I'm like, oh, wait until video three, <laughs> which is obviously this one. So this has obviously been in the works here for a couple of weeks. Ordering the parts, getting them in. A lot of people would have said, "Why didn't you just paint the silver ones that you had, the original ones? Why'd you buy a whole new set?" Um, because if it didn't work, then I was going to end up with a black set and I'm not going to strip the paint off of it. So I figured for whatever it was, I think it would cost me like $123 for all the parts. I figured what the hell, I'll just order a whole new set of, uh, of aluminum and, um, and paint them. Now, a lot of other people would have said, why don't you anodize them? If, <laughs> if you've never anodized before, 
Um, I anodized three suspension parts for the DBO2 to try to to try to get Glen one and get one for myself for my DBO2 build. Three tiny little parts was 150 bucks, right? So if I I don't even know that you can powder coat aluminum. I, I have no clue. Um, you probably can under some kind of circumstance, but whether you powder coat or whether you anodize, it's it's literally a ton of money because they have minimums. Um, so whether I brought these parts in or a shoebox full of parts in, the minimum is whatever it was, 150 bucks. For $12, I bought a can of satin paint and I already had the etching primer. Um, so I figured I'd go down that route because if I didn't, if I didn't pull it off, then I just threw, you know, basically over $200 into anodizing and, and the actual parts, um, to have it not work. But this works fine. Um, it's probably going to scratch if I run it. So this is supposed to be a runner car for me, but we'll have to see. I mean, I've got so many runners already that I don't necessarily need to go after the javelin, um, or the yellow jacket to to fulfill my running needs so this car will go on the shelf as it is and it might just stay there um kind of is what it is all the running gears out of it at this point the motors out of it um i don't even have a servo in it and then uh whether i decide to put a driver figure in i probably will um it'll probably be the fox driver figure i like the looks of glenn's when he did his but i definitely would want to do a fluorescent yellow or real sharp yellow like a ps16 um paint on the body and helmet right and then do um black seat belts with black gloves or maybe black seat belts with red gloves and a black steering wheel something along those lines i would have done it but i don't have one i don't have one here um so i'm not gonna hold the video up just to do the driver figure but you guys get the basic point i mean i think it i think it turned out awesome you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think do you did you like the silver better or do you like the black i mean i just think this looks badass to be completely honest um you know the 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 yellow and black looks awesome and then you've got the the red touches here and there with the side decals and the the shocks so it just complements it so yeah, that's going to do it for this video series on the Javelin, a.k.a. Yellow Jacket. You'll have to tell me what you think. Uh, if you're not already subscribed and have your notifications turned on, get that done. Um, you know, we're putting out two videos a week, so uh, you definitely want to be notified. And we've got a lot of epic builds coming up, a lot of rare, rare cars that we're building from new and box. So you don't want to miss any of that. Throw me a thumbs up. Let me know what you, what you think in the comments, and uh, until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks.